welcome to Steve's How To In Five. Now for my regular viewers, you would know that uh, I'm all about bikes. I've been running bikes now for 48 years and I love my bikes with a passion. But recently I've been introduced to the world of three wheelers. In this case, it's a Can-Am Spider F3S. It's a triple cylinder, 1330cc, and the Australian version produces 115 horsepower. This is the sports version, the F3S, or the Roadster. Um, there's also the touring versions. They have a whole lot of versions in the Spider range. But I was watching a video recently, and it's one that I, I regularly tune into, and it's the Smokes vlog with Sean and Kelly Smoke uh, down in Toledo, I think, in the US. They have a bike shop there, and they are everything bikes. And it's great to have a look at a good cross-section of bikes. But one of the things I noticed, Sean was filming a Sea to Sky. Now, that's the touring version of these. I think they used to call it the RT, with all the big boxes and everything for touring. And I noticed it had a belt tensioner on there. That's on the drive belt itself. And I have had this small vibration in the bike. I can feel it at certain rev ranges. I started to do some research online and some say that yes, they vibrate. Some say no, they don't vibrate. Others say it doesn't matter. What I thought I would do is whip off the belt cover, build a little jig to hold the camera. And I'm going to film this in 220, 220 frames per second and film the belt in standard and also in slow-mo and see just what's happening down there. So this is the bracket that I've made up to put the camera on. Basically, it's a bit of uh, 25 by six aluminium, or, or for our friends in the US, uh, in, inch by quarter aluminum. Oh, that has to be the worst American accent ever. But what it's going to do, the chain, oh, not, not chain, is it? It's a belt on this. The belt guard, which I've already undone, the bracket will mount here onto this slug and this slug here. And I've got it angled, I've put about three degrees on here, so hopefully we're going to look at the belt at about this point here, which is roughly center of the belt. I've measured between the two pulleys, and that's come up with, uh, in Imperial, what has that come up with? About 40 inches. Um, so we'll pop it on, do a bit of filming, and um, I suppose I should introduce you to the workshop foreman. This is Ralph. Ralph oversees all of the projects here. He's the chief engineer at Steve's How To In Five. So, Ralph, are we ready to go? Let's pop it on, give it a try. This is just a look at the camera mounted on the bracket on the side of the bike. Now in this first run, what I do is I actually um, uh, accelerate quite hard here, first, second, third, fourth, um, through to about fifth gear. And under high acceleration, doesn't seem to be a lot of movement, but that is in normal time. On the second one, actually the camera gives a little bit of a round effect there, doesn't it? I just go up gently through the gears here, and at this stage, I'm thinking, well, there's actually not that much movement. Um, there's a little bit there, but it doesn't seem too bad. And then I try it once more, just moving up through the gears. Um, I had it on what's called snail mode at this stage, and then I tried it another one, and here I started to see a little bit of flutter, and it was coming up quite steady at this point, and I got some quite rapid movements. Now I put it in really slow mode, which is the, or slow mode, which is the 220 frames per second. And I'm just on the edge here, so I've accelerated up, and then I've just started to button on, and I haven't really got throttle on, I haven't really got it off, and there it starts to really shake and rattle. Then I accelerate on in top gear, and you can see it's got a rapid movement. It really starts to bounce up and down. So I've, I've got the throttle just on that edge where you're not quite accelerating, but you're not quite shutting off. And that was the point that it really, when it was lightly loaded and then started into heavy load, one more look at it, and here you can see it's quite violent. Um, it really does get a lot of movement. Well, there you go, it's conclusive. They definitely get belt shutter or belt flutter or whatever it is you wanna call it. And for those that may be interested, I'm running 200 pounds of pressure on my belt. I know some people up around the 240, um, I've spoken to or read articles where people prefer around the 170, 180. I've gone mid-range at 200 pounds. I just want to use one of those little cricket uh, clickers to get that measurement. It's not a Gates uh, belt 
tensioner, measurer, whatever it is, but I think that would be a good idea. So what I've done, I've picked up this little uh, belt tensioner here. I got this from Sling Mods. Uh, it's made by Spider Extras. I'm going to fit that up. It will be a separate video. I'll put the camera back down and we'll do basically the same thing again, but with the belt tensioner on. So don't forget to subscribe. And um, if you like the video, give us a thumbs up. Oh, and also I've moved into the 21st century. I've now got an Instagram account, uh, Steve's underscore how to in five. So if you uh, follow me on the Instagram, I each time I post a new video, I will put it onto Instagram, or rather the thumbnail, saying that I have done so. You can also message me through Instagram. Um, I think that's it for now, so until next time, cheers.